Good afternoon, I'm Patrick Jones. Today I'll be bringing you something that's near and dear to my heart, and that is me in the kitchen baking. Today I'll be baking brownies. Uh, we're gonna put those together, put them in the oven for about 35 minutes, bring them out, and enjoy. I hope everyone enjoys watching the video. Please let us know what you think. Stay tuned. First up, one whole stick of butter, melted. Next, one tablespoon of oil. I'm going to blend that. Get it all whipped up, about a minute, minute and a half. Put it on a little speed, let it get incorporated a little bit. We're gonna speed that up. Make sure we get all that nice and incorporated. Next up, we're gonna go eggs. On top of that, we're going to also add the vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla right there. Vanilla going in, that's good. We're going to blend that for another minute. We're almost there. Here we go. We have half a cup of cocoa going in. All right, got that. And also a half a cup of flour, all purpose flour. Got that. And also, one quarter teaspoon of salt. Got ahead. Bring all those flavors together. All right. Now we're gonna fold. Not use the blender on this. We're gonna fold this in until it's just incorporated. We're gonna get it into the pan. Get these babies in there. Then we're folding. On to the pan. Nice little cold pan non stick. We're gonna get that poured in there, even it out to the oven we go.
it up. All right. Slide on over to the 350, 30 minutes. We're going to check back and see what we got. I bake weekly. Normally I bake on Fridays. Uh, sometimes during the middle of the week, it just depends. If I get an urge to bake or if someone asks me to bake something, I might do it uh, during the week, but definitely at least once a week I'm baking something. I started baking probably when I was 12, 13 years old. As a little kid, I enjoyed cookies like most little kids do. And my grandmother would always say that uh, I tore up her cookbooks, you know, baking cookies. And that led me into cooking in general. From that point on, I was just in the kitchen cooking, not necessarily baking. It wasn't until, you know, my injury in 2000, late 2017 or 2018, when I came home, that I really got into baking. Pots and pans were so heavy, I couldn't pick them up to do anything with them. But I found that baking pans, pie pans, and things of that nature were a lot easier for me to work with. And from there, I started baking from there. And it's been, you know, like I said, weekly. Ever since. I really enjoy uh, cobblers, peach cobblers, blueberry cobblers, things of that nature, because uh, I like working with dough. I've recently uh, learned how to make my own pie crust, and I really enjoy doing that. And so I can either, you know, do a pie crust, bake it into a pie, or use that same crust for a cobbler as well. So I enjoy doing that. I like doing cookies. And uh, I enjoy baking cakes, but cakes, cakes are a whole different process, so, but I'm working on that. And uh, I want to perfect that as well. Occupational therapy mainly helps my motor skills. It helps me to uh, work on my flexibility, my balance, my stability, as well as my stamina, which all those things are required, you know, standing over a mixing bowl, you know, mixing ingredients, putting uh, pans and trays and whatnot into and out of the oven, you know, and that really helps, you know, with, with, the, uh, with, with, with my uh, motor skills, you know, and, and, and strength as well, which, you know, all those things are combined. The advice I would give anyone looking to get into baking would be be patient. The baking is, is, is as much science as it is art, and so everything is not going to turn out the way you might want it to taste or look, but it's it's practice. They say practice makes perfect, you know. But just 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 find something you like to do, and just keep working at it. Just keep working at it. You get it. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's just cooking. Well, now is the time to pull the brownies out of the oven. It's been about 30 minutes, so we're gonna see what we have. You know, they've been smelling up the house, so I think we got something good. Let's see what we got. Bring that out a little bit. There we go. Looking good. Got a little jiggle, not too tight. Don't want to overcook the brownies. Nice crack on top. I'm gonna go ahead and bring those out. And let those cool. There we go. Good balance. All right, let that cool for about 10 minutes, and we're going to move it to the rack. All right. 